Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going after another The Last of Us Part 1 trophy, Chronicles, where you need to find all notes and artifacts. Now, in my opinion, this is the largest trophy in the game, with an impressive 97 collectibles to find throughout the main game, as well as the Left Behind DLC, which is included with the PlayStation 5 version of the game and can be accessed from the main menu. Collecting an artifact is just a case of going to the artifact's location, then picking it up. They serve no purpose other than adding lore and backstory to the game world and environment. Now it will be made a lot easier if you use the enhanced listen mode feature which can be found by pausing, going to accessibility, navigation and traversal, enhanced listen mode, set that to on, set the scan time to 30 meters and the scan range to one second. Where you can then hold down R1 and circle to send out a sonar which will show you all nearby collectibles including the notes and artifacts. Now to see what artifacts you have collected throughout the game, press touchpad, then tab right to the artifact section where any artifacts you haven't yet looked at will have a yellow dot next to them. Below, we will have all 83 artifacts in the main game, then the remaining 14 artifacts, which can be found throughout the Left Behind DLC, so make sure you stick around for the entire video if you're looking at getting your Chronicles trophy unlocked. And to make things even easier, if you want to just play through the main game and then go back and do all of the collectibles, they can all be done via Chapter Select. So, artifact number one, the Boston QZ map, can be found in the chapter The Quarantine Zone Behind the Wall. You will receive the Boston QZ map automatically when you get your rucksack with Tess. Artifact number two, the military pamphlet, can be found at the exact same time where you get the Boston QZ map artifact. Artifact number three, note to brother, can be found in the chapter The Quarantine Zone Beyond the Wall, once you and Tess have your masks on, go up the stairs, then before crossing the wooden walkway, take a left down a small corridor into a room where you will find the Note to Brother artifact on the table against the back wall. Artifact number four, Drafting Notice, can be found in the chapter The Quarantine Zone, The Slums. Whilst walking through the slums area, you will go through a bus where an NPC will stand in front of you until Tess comes along and tells him to sit down. Continue out in the open area, then stay left to find the Drafting Notice artifact on the floor next to an abandoned dishwasher and some grey crates on the floor. Artifact number five, the wanted poster, could again be found in the chapter of the quarantine zone, the slums. Look forward from where you found the drafting notice artifact, then walk to the notice board to find the wanted poster artifact. Artifact number six, the shipping manifest, is another artifact you can find in the quarantine zone, the slums. Drop down into the docks area, then either take everyone out or be stealthy, Either way, you need to go over to the railings to your right to find the shipping manifest artifact on the floor in front of a rusty bucket. Artifact number seven is another one found in the chapter The Quarantine Zone, The Slums, and it's called the Docks Note. From where you pick up the shipping manifest artifact, go forward, then over to the right to find the Docks Note artifact on the floor behind a blue laundry bin. Artifact number eight, Tessie's List, can be found in the chapter The Outskirts Outside. After the cutscene where Joel is speaking with Tess and Ellie, you will have an optional conversation you can participate in. Turn around 180 degrees afterwards and walk into the room in front of you with the light on a table. Next to the light will be the Tessie's List artifact on the small table. Artifact number nine, the patrol route map, can again be found in the chapter The Outskirts Outside. Once you've gone down the elevator with Tess and Ellie, you would usually go left through the hole in the wall. You need to instead go right where you will find the patrol route map artifact on the floor next to a large pallet. Of course. Artifact number 10, the evacuation leaflet, can be found in the chapter The Outskirts Downtown. Continue through the chapter to a section you need to mantle up with a yellow sign with 93 on it, then proceed forward, keeping to the right to find a garbage can. Just in front of the garbage can will be the evacuation leaflet artifact on the floor. Buildings look like they're close. They're so damn tall. So what happened? 
Artifact number 11, the Field Ops Log, can be found again in the chapter, The Outskirts Downtown. Once you're in the building with Tess and Ellie, go up the first set of stairs to find a dead soldier slumped against the wall. Just next to his left hand will be the Field Ops Log artifact on the floor. Artifact number 12, the Firefly map, can again be found in the chapter, The Outskirts Downtown. Make your way down into the subway tunnels, then as you go around past the blue map board on the right, you will see a corpse up a small set of stairs near the rubble that has fallen. Look to the right of the body to find the Firefly map artifact on the floor. Artifact number 13, Note to Derek, can again be found in the chapter, The Outskirts Downtown, after squatting down behind the barrier with Tess and Ellie in the subway, you would normally go over to the right. However, you will need to go left into a small shop that has an infected eating a corpse just outside. Kill the infected, then go in the shop and around the back of the counter, open the drawer where you can then collect the Note to Derek artifact from the drawer. Artifact number 14, the medical pamphlet, can be found in the chapter The Outskirts Museum. Once you've dragged the box outside and jumped over the lorry being used as a barrier, turn around to your left and go through the opening into the lorry trailer. You will find the medical pamphlet artifact on the right side of the pallet on the floor. Artifact number 15, Firefly Orders, can be found in the chapter The Outskirts, the Capitol Building. Proceed through the mission to where you go down the stairs and will need to move the large green garbage bin across the small muddy area to jump over the fence. Before doing this, go down the stairs, then take a right coming back on yourself where you will find the Firefly Orders artifact in a pool of blood next to a corpse. This. Artifact number 16, the smuggler note, can be found again in the chapter The Outskirts of the Capitol Building. Go through the underwater section to where you swim under, then through the carriage debris, and come to an open area where you would ordinarily go over to the platform on the right. Instead, you need to go up to the ledge on the left, where you will meet up with Ellie and look to the right of the corpse, slumped against the wall to find the smuggler note artifact. Artifact number 17, Pills Note, can be found in the chapter Billstown the Woods. Continue through and drop down through the hole in the fence, then where you would usually go past the stairs and buildings on your right, you need to go up the metal stairs along the small walkway then through the door. Once in the building, take the first left into the room, then over to the top left of the room, towards the windows with the sunlight coming through to find the Pills Note artifact on the floor. Artifact number 18, the Perimeter Note, can again be found in the chapter Billstown the Woods. Once you are reunited with Ellie, go down the overground street where you will see an RV side onto you and a small music shop with an orange awning called Marquee Music Store to your left. Go into the back room of the music store with the brown leather sofa to find a printer on a grey filing cabinet. Look to the right side at the top of the filing cabinet to find the Perimeter Note artifact. Before the infection showed up, most didn't. Man, it must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That ain't the hard part. Artifact number 19, Note to Bob, can again be found in the chapter Billstown the Woods. 
Come out of the marquee music store where you collected the perimeter note artifact, then go left down towards the secure barricade to find the note to bob artifact on the barbed wire just to the right of the joist, holding up the you will be shot sign. Work. Anybody else live in this town? Or as I know, it's just him. Artifact number 20, note to Rachel, can again be found in the chapter Billstown the Woods. Drop down the ladder off of the roof, then take care of the tripwire in front of you. You will need to go straight around behind the metal chain link to continue the story. Before doing so, however, take a left, go through the white door on your left, then up the stairs, taking the first door on the left into a room where an infected will charge at you to try and have something equipped to deal with him. Once he's down, you can then go over to the right to find the note to Rachel artifact on the dining table. Gee, that thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's search the place. Artifact number 21, Fences Note, can be found in the chapter Billstown Safe House. Continue through until you're in the bar with Ellie and Bill, then rather than going forward, turn around to the left, then go through the door to find the Fences Note artifact on the table in the middle of the room. Artifact number 22, Bill's Map, can again be found in the chapter Billstown Safe House. Come out of the small room where you collected the Fences Note artifact, then go over to your right to find the Bill's Map artifact on a table next to the main bar. Artifact number 23, Hunter's Note, can be found again in the chapter, Billstown Safe House. Go up the stairs to follow Bill, then take an immediate right. Go down the hallway into a small room to find the Hunter's Note artifact in front of you on a small white table. Yeah, he's one of a kind. I'm gonna take a look around up here. Nothing in there that I need. Go ahead, take whatever you want. <sighs> Thanks. Artifact number 24, Bombs Note, can be found in the chapter Billstown Graveyard. Follow Bill through the church, then before going out the window with him, take a right behind a screen into a side room. Go to your left to find the Bombs Note artifact on a wooden table. Nice place you got here. Now, if you got anything to confess, this would be the place to do it. That's not the confessional booth, that's my room. All right, I'm not touching anything. Just... Artifact number 25, Boy's Diary, can be found in the chapter Billstown High School Escape. Follow Bill until you drop down into the backyard with the swimming pool, then enter the house. Go straight, then up the stairs at the end on your right. Go through the door on your right, then go right to the desk where you will find the Boy's Diary artifact on the table. We're all fine, let's just keep going. Artifact number 26, Note from Frank, can again be found in the chapter Billstown High School Escape. After Ellie has got in the driver's seat of the truck and Bill is about to open the garage door, turn around from Ellie's driver door, go straight, then over to the right through the door in the back wall. Go left to find the note from Frank artifact on the white table in front of the window. Artifact number 27 is again called Note from Frank, and obviously it's found in the same chapter, Billstown High School Escape. Once you have the Note from Frank artifact, obviously Artifact 26, go back and hand it to Bill, who will read it, then throw it away. Go around the truck to the front wing to find the note on the floor and pick it up, which will not only count as an artifact entry, but also unlock the In Memoriam trophy as well. Well, that's how you feel. You too, Frank. <sighs> Fucking idiot. You ready to go? Beep. 
Artifact number 28 is found in a cutscene in between the chapters Billstown High School Escape and Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. You will receive the siphon hose from Bill during the cutscene where your vehicle crashes into the garage and you get ambushed by the humans. Simply open your inventory once you've dealt with all of the humans to ensure that it's in there before moving on. And obviously that will remove the yellow dot that we spoke about earlier on. Artifact number 29 is the Taurus Manifest that can be found in the chapter of Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. After going through the shutter door with Ellie into the room with the corpses on the tables, go over to the right to find the Taurus Manifest artifact on a metal grate. Man, that is a lot of people that didn't make it. I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. We lived. Barely. Come on, let's get out of here. Artifact number 30, Ambush Map, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. After leaving the room where you collected the Tourist Manifest artifact, go up the stairs, then through the door straight ahead. Turn right and look on the wall and interact with the Ambush Map artifact. So, uh, we kill a lot of innocent people? <sighs> Take it however you want. Artifact number 31, Lost Hill Note, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. Once you're in the Fedra installation with the metal turnstiles, go over to the right to a small unit to find the Lost Hill Note artifact on the floor. Artifact number 32, The Traitor's Flyer, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. Continue through the Fedra installation from where you collected the Lost Hill Note artifact, then just before going through the large green canopy, turn around to find the Traitor's Flyer artifact on the wall. Artifact number 33, the Applicant Checklist, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. It's a popular chapter, this one. What you need to do is head into the Kingston Bookstore, take a right, then look at the bookcase to the left of the stairs in the bottom right corner of the room to find the Applicant Checklist artifact. Spread out! Artifact number 34, the Abandoned Zone Note, is again found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. From where you collect the Applicant Checklist artifact, go forward to the back wall, jump through the Missing Window section, then look left to find the Abandoned Zone Note artifact on the unit in front of the coffee machine. Artifact number 35, the Lost Areas map, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. Once you're on the first floor of the bookstore, you would usually go through the yellow set of double doors. However, you need to go to the corner of the room past the sofas to the right of the yellow double doors where you will find a shiv door. Now, you will need to craft a shiv in order to be able to get through this door and open the shiv door to gain access to the restroom. Look into the left to find the Lost Areas map artifact on the surface to the right of the sink. Okay. Artifact 36, Mother's Letter, is again, surprise, surprise, found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. As you're making your way down the overgrown street with Ellie towards the bridge, you will see a cop car to the left and a yellow cab just next to some water. Look to your left to see a blue awning with a barricaded wooden door with a red cross on it. This is a shiv door, so you will of course need a shiv. You will need to go through the door, then once you're in the building, look straight forward to the yellow chair to find the mother's letter artifact. There you go. Bingo. Artifact number 37, the stash note, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. Thankfully, this is the last artifact in this chapter. Now, after helping Ellie off of the pallet and onto the coach roof, go through the lorry trailer underwater and forward up the stairs to floor one. Follow the walkway all the way round to the right to find the stash note artifact on the blue worktop just past a mattress on the floor.
Artifact 38, note to staff, can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Hotel Lobby. After climbing up the ladder where you come to the floor with the two sets of golden elevator doors in front of you, you would usually take a left. However, you need to go right instead. Slowly move across the broken floor section to the end of the pathway where you will find an open suitcase on the floor, inside of which will be the note to staff artifact. Artifact 39, the hotel keycard is a story related item. You will need to get the hotel keycard before you can get out of the area. And it's in the chapter Pittsburgh Hotel Lobby. So from the kitchen area, take a left, then the first right, cross the corridor into the security room where you will find the hotel keycard artifact on the desk. So in the footage, I'm just gonna show you where you need to go. Obviously down the end of that corridor is where you're gonna be using the hotel key card, where you've got all of the growths that are coming off the wall. Simply make your way back to where this kitchen is, take a right through that door, across the corridor, there will be your hotel key card artifact sitting there on the desk. Obviously this is just to help you get your bearings. Artifact number 40, the Fireflies note, can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. After dropping down where you have the gang of humans talking to each other near the corpse hanging from a tree, go to the right to the Rivers Cafe. Take out any patrolling humans that pose a threat, then go out the back door to the adjacent building. Once in the second building, go over to the right and into the freezer, following the blood trail on the floor, then look to your right to find the Fireflies note artifact amongst a stack of papers. Anything, some tourists got lucky. We'll find it. They always do. Maybe you're right. Artifact 41, the final attack note, can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. Make your way up the stairs to the blue wall with the large bank of meridian sign along the right wall, then rather than following the corridor around as you usually would, go straight into the office with the glass walls, take a left and go to the end, looking to the right on the floor to find the final attack note artifact. Artifact number 42, the mob attack note, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. Once you're on street level with Ellie, on the edge of an intersection will be a green van outside of the bookstore. Follow the path around to the right side to the yellow taxi and into the doorway on your right. Go up the stairs and through the door to your left. Go left behind the large desk with the laptop on it and look to the floor between the water dispenser and office chair to find the mob attack note artifact. Artifact 43, the truck note, can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. Head down the street past the tank where you will have a ration depot over to your right, inside of which will be the truck note artifact on a table over to the right side of the middle of the room just in front of a blood splatter on the wall. Artifact 44, Trial Notes, can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh, Escape the City. Go through the wooden set of double doors that Henry opens for you, then go straight forward into the small room and look to your right to find the Trial Note artifact on the floor. Artifact 45, Boat Note, can be found in the chapter The Suburb Sewers. Once you're on the beach, stay to the right near the water's edge to find a beached vessel. Go up on the deck and through the door on your left. Go up the stairs, then look to your left to find the Boat Note artifact on the chair.
Artifact 46, the sewers note, can be found in the chapter The Suburb Sewers. Continue through the sewers to where Ellie goes through a small vent to move the red trolley out of your way, allowing Joel to enter the caged room. Go up the stairs, then left to find a table against the left wall, upon which will be the sewers note artifact. Artifact 47, the trading notes, can again be found in the chapter of the suburb sewers. Go up the ladder you use to get the pallet that you use to take Ellie across the water, but before getting the pallet, go right instead through the white door into a room with a couple of clickers. Crouch and walk slowly if you're on easier difficulties, or take them both out if you're worried, then go around to the left side of the room where you will find the trading note artifact on the floor in front of a stack of books. Artifact 48, Rain Catcher Notes, can again be found in the chapter of the Suburb Sewers. After you have dealt with the infected ambush down in the sewers, go through the doorway on your right where in the water, go up the stairs and come to a small storage room. Head over to the right to find the Rain Catcher Note artifact on the table in front of the large filtration tank on the blue tarpaulin. Artifact 49, Cornered Note, can again be found in the chapter the Suburb Sewers. Jump over the small wall and up the two sets of stairs after collecting the rain catcher note artifact where you will see a wooden screen with a door behind it. Go through the door into the room then go over to the left to find the cornered note artifact on the floor in front of the corpses. Artifact 50, Kids Drawing, can be again found in the chapter of the Suburb Sewers. It's becoming another popular chapter, this one, for the artifacts. After clearing out the area of infected, go up the stairs, then around to the area with the children's toys, plastic cars, easels, bookcases, etc. Look to the right wall on top of the blue bookcase below the blackboard to find the Kids Drawing artifact. Look at this place. It's like a classroom. Why can they keep it safe? Artifact 51, Looting Notes, can be found in the chapter The Suburbs, Suburbs. Make your way through the greenery to the street, then go into the second house on the right, the one with the small porch out front, and head straight up the stairs. Go into the first room on your left to the drawer cabinet, on top of which will be the Looting Note artifact. Artifact 52, Father's Note, can again be found in the chapter of the Suburbs, Suburbs. Head around to the end of the street, then look to the second to last house on the left, which will be red with a balcony and a green sheet thrown over the wall. Head into the house and go up the stairs, go into the first room on your left, then go to the left wall to find a desk with a Father's Note artifact on top of it. Artifact 53, Matchbook, can again be found in the chapter of the Suburbs Suburbs. Go into the last house on the street with the abandoned ice cream truck outside, then go up the stairs which are in the hallway to the attic which is on the third floor. Once in the attic, look to your right to find the Matchbook artifact on the dresser. Artifact 54, Survivor's Note, can again be found in the chapter, The Suburbs, Suburbs. 
After you have collected the matchbook artifact from the attic, go back down one flight of stairs and into the second room on your right, then look to the left wall to the far side of the unit to find the survivor's note artifact. Artifact number 55, Power Plant Map, can be found in the chapter Tommy's Dam, Hydroelectric Dam. Continue through the chapter to where you duck under a log and there's a yellow digger on your left. If you look over to your left, you will find a small building inside of which, on the right wall, will be the Power Plant Map artifact hanging on the notice board. Artifact number 56, Plant Schematics, can again be found in the chapter Tommy's Dam, Hydroelectric Dam. After you've spoken with Tommy and are fighting the humans that ambush you, make your way back up the stairs and into the control room. Ensure that you have taken out all of the humans, then look to the bottom left corner of the center console to find the Plant Schematics artifact. This artifact was inaccessible on your first walk through the area as two workers were looking at it. We got him. Let's get to the bridge. Can you get out of there? No, we're trapped. We're gonna come to you. Just, just stay. They're here. Ellie, hide. Marie. Artifact number 57, Sniper's Nest Log, can be found in the chapter The University Go Big Horns. From the start of the chapter, go forward, then before jumping over the first grey barrier, go right down the ramp to the loading bay. In here, go right, then through the door on your right and up one flight of stairs. Head through the door, then take the first door on your right to come out to a large balcony. Look in the corner of the balcony on the floor next to some ammo boxes to find the sniper's nest log artifact. I'll stay with Callus. I hate that name. There was a lookout here. That's a good sign. Artifact number 58, Wall Panel Note, can be found in the chapter The University Go Big Horns. Once Joel has pushed open the gate and left Ellie with Callus, who is your horse, go over to the right wall, look into the left of the shutter to find the Wall Panel Note artifact. Reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. You think there'll be other people my age? Uh. I'm not sure. Running off. I'll be right back. Looks like someone jerry rigged this thing. Artifact 59, UEC Campus Map, can again be found in the chapter The University Go Bighorns. As you go into the building through the doorway by ducking under the debris in the building where you would normally go through to allow Ellie and Callus to get through the gate, as soon as you're in the room, look to the desk in front of you to find the UEC Campus Map artifact. Artifact number 60, Student's Journal, can again be found in the chapter The University Go Bighorns. From where you collected the UEC campus map artifact, go forward and up the stairs, then through the second door on your left into room 200-B. Once in the room, look right to find the Student's Journal artifact in the top right drawer of the desk with the laptop on it. Artifact number 61, Newspaper Clipping, can again be found in the chapter The University Go Bighorns. 
Proceed through the area with the bloater and clickers until you push the barricade out of the way through the doors and head up the stairs to floor 2. From here go through the double doors then rather than turning left to progress the story, instead go right then through the first door on your right into room 205-B. Once in the room look over to your left to find the newspaper clipping artifact on the fridge. Artifact number 62, Office Recorder, can be found in the chapter The University Science Building. Head up the stairs with Ellie, then around the walkway, go through the door, then rather than turning right as you usually would to progress the story, instead go left, then left again. Against the right wall will be a blue door you can go through marked room 301 Biology Lab, then go straight forward to find the office recorder on the desk at the back of the room. Bodies. That's good, right? We found out where they went. Artifact number 63, Fungal X-rays, can again be found in the chapter The University Science Building. Come out of the room where you collect the office recorder artifact and continue through to where Joel gets spooked and goes through the green tent looking corridor. Rather than going right to progress the game, instead go left to the far left wall to find the Fungal X-rays artifact on the table. Shit. Um, so it's probably clickers, right? Clickers don't hide. Artifact number 64, Lab Recorder, can again be found in the chapter, The University Science Building. Continue through the chapter to the room where you scare the monkeys, then go over to the right side to find the lab recorder on the corner of a lab table opposite a green jacket which is on the same table. Well, at least it ain't clickers. Yeah. No fireflies either. Well, maybe in all that research they turn into fucking monkeys. Keep searching, we'll find something. Now, the next eight artifacts will all be found in the chapter Lakeside Resort, The Hunt. After the cutscene where you start playing the game as Ellie, you will receive the eight artifacts. All you need to do is simply open your inventory and have a look at each one to make sure that they count as an artifact for the purposes of the trophy counter. Now the eight artifacts are Artifact 65, Switchblade, Artifact 66, Walkman, Artifact 67, Sam's Robot, Artifact 68, Note from Mum, Artifact 69, No Pun Intended Volume 2, Artifact 70, To Get to the Other Side, Artifact 71, No Pun Intended, and Artifact 72, Joel and Sarah's Note. Now, you do need to look at each one to ensure that they count. It's better to be safe than sorry in this instance. Right, with those nice little late artifacts done, Artifact 73, Fireflies Recorder, can be found in the chapter Lakeside Resort, Cabin Resort. Once Joel has gone through the area and closes the door, he will then collect Ellie's backpack from the shelving unit, which is part of the story. Open your artifact menu and have a look at both the Fireflies Recorder and Artifact 74, the Lake Resort map, which you'll get at the same time. What is this? Where the hell is all this stuff here? Go. 
Artifact 75, Meet Ledger, can again be found in the chapter Lakeside Resort, Cabin Resort. Once you've collected Ellie's backpack and have looked at both the Fireflies recorder and the Lake Resort map artifacts, turn around then look to the shelving unit next to where you collected the backpack to find the Meet Ledger artifact. Artifact 76, Family Photograph, can be found in the chapter Bus Depot, Highway Exit. From the start of the chapter, head forward and stay over to the left. Just past the ambulance will be a large RV with its door open. Head into the RV, then look to the right on the counter to find the family photograph artifact. Artifact 77, Note to Wife, can again be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Continue through the chapter to the Logan James Bus Station building, then go down the stairs to your left. Head forward to find an open suitcase in the top left corner, inside of which will be the Note to Wife artifact. Here, hon. Artifact 78, Salt Lake QZ map, can again be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Once you're through the building and back outside, you will be in front of a Fedra tank. Go forward into the white tent on the far right of the area, then look to the left inside the tent to find the Salt Lake QZ map on the table. Now, Artifact 79, Joel and Sarah photo, is the same photo that you received as Ellie as part of her eight artifacts earlier on, and is found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. When you're going towards the bus with Ellie, you need to go through to lead to the tunnel. You will get an L3 lookout prompt, which you need to activate by pressing L3, of course. Now, Joel can then turn around and engage in an optional conversation with Ellie by pressing triangle when the prompt appears. Once Joel and Ellie are done talking, open your artifact menu and look at the Joel and Sarah photo to ensure that it is registered. Hey Joel, I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. No matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> Thank you. Artifact 80, Marlene's Recorder 1, can be found in the chapter of the Firefly Lab, the hospital. After you escape from the guards and Joel barricades the double doors with the chair, head up the stairs and through the double doors. Head right, then go through the first door on your right into an office, then look to the desk on your right to find the Marlene's Recorder 1 artifact. Artifact 81, Surgeon's Recorder, can again be found in the chapter of the Firefly Lab, the hospital. Come out of the office where you collected the Marlene's Recorder 1 artifact, then go forward to the left edge of the reception desk behind a crumpled lab coat to find the Surgeon's Recorder artifact. Artifact 82, Marlene's Journal, can be found in the chapter of the Firefly Lab, the hospital. Once you've collected the Surgeon's Recorder artifact, Turn around then through the first set of double doors on your right with the surgery sign above them. Go straight forward then right into the green tent, through to the final section on the left then look to the work surface on your left to find the Marlene's Journal artifact.
Whilst in fact 83, Merlin's Recorder 2 can be found in the chapter of the Firefly Lab, the hospital, and is the final artifact that you need in the main game for The Last of Us Part 1. What you need to do is continue through the chapter past the armed guards to the paediatrics department, then once Joel has barricaded the door with the blue trolley, go through the first door on your right. Turn your flashlight on, just simply click R3 if you're not too sure how to do it, then against the back wall on a small table to the right of the curtains will be the Marlene's Recorder 2 artifact on a small wooden table. Right, now the other 14 artifacts that you're going to need to collect are found in the Last of Us Part 1 Left Behind. Left Behind was originally a DLC pack for the original release of The Last of Us back on PlayStation 3, then again with the PlayStation 4 release. Fortunately, they have included the Left Behind DLC with the PlayStation 5 version, and you will need to collect the 14 notes and artifacts that are found throughout the pack. Whilst you can, if you choose to start Left Behind before playing any of the main story, for the purposes of this guide, I will assume that you have followed it in order, so the artifacts below will carry on chronologically through the guide, continuing from the main game. You can start Left Behind by choosing Left Behind from the main menu screen, either before or after playing the main game, and the 14 notes and artifacts are as follows. Artifact 84, Combination Note, can be found in the chapter Back in a Flash, Back in a Flash. Now, a lot of these chapter names, I will include them as they're written in the game, but they are said twice. For whatever reason, I'm not too sure, but obviously just to clear up any confusion, that's how they're written, that's how we say it. So what you need to do is proceed through the chapter to the Western's Pharmacy, which is part of the story, then once inside, go right to come to the consultation area. Behind the consultation counter on the floor will be the Combination Note Artifact. Maybe he's got something on him. Artifact 85, the pharmacy key, is again found in the chapter Back in a Flash, Back in a Flash, and is a story progression item. Once you have the combination note artifact, you can then go into the American Princess shop, which is in serious need of a clean. Go to the top left corner of the shop to find a corpse consumed by the growths, then search the corpse to find the pharmacy key artifact. Artifact 86, Pharmacist Note, can again be found in the chapter Back in a Flash, Back in a Flash. Once you have the pharmacy key, the pharmacist will fall forward slightly, dropping the pharmacist note artifact down on the floor to the right of where Ellie should be standing. Ensure that you collect the artifact before moving on. Artifact 87 is the last artifact that you can collect in the chapter Back in a Flash, Back in a Flash, and is the Salon Note. Continue through the chapter to the Pixie Photo Shop, which is story progression, then follow the pathway around to the Rarity Now Salon. Look at the purple chairs against the back wall, then go left to find the corpse next to some foot spars with the Salon Note artifact on the floor next to the corpse's left hand. Artifact 88, Wanted Poster, is found in the chapter More Rats, More Rats. Follow Riley up the stairs and around the corridor, and once you have both ducked under the boards in the doorway, go straight forward to find a table on the right side of which will be the Wanted Poster artifact. I saw him walking down the street, so I tailed his ass. I follow him into this alley, and all these fireflies ambush me. They took me right to their hideout, to Marlene. Were you scared? Terrified. 
I thought this time she would actually shoot me. But instead, she just says, what took you so long? She was expecting me. And she just made you a firefly? Something like that. That whole almost killing me thing was a test. She wanted to know I was committed. Artifact number 89 is the warning note and can again be found in the chapter More Rats, More Rats. Proceed through the chapter to where Ellie and Riley go through a set of double doors just past the area you can earn the Brickmaster Trophy and then go down the stairs taking the first left into a kitchen area. Once through the doors in the kitchen, look on the work surface against the back wall to find the warning note artifact next to the coffee machine. Huh? Follow me. Ellie, this way. Artifact number 90, the atrium note, can be found in the chapter So Close, So Close. At the start of the chapter, with the helicopter above you, go over to the right towards the back wall to find a gurney. In front of the gurney, on the floor, will be the atrium note artifact. Artifact number 91, the generator note, can again be found in the chapter So Close, So Close. Proceed through the chapter to where Ellie wades through the water, then comes to the loading bay with the large red truck inside, then look to the generator you will need to find diesel for. Just next to the generator on a cardboard box will be your artifact. Here we go. End of the line. Artifact 92, Atrium Recorder, can again be found in the chapter So Close, So Close. As Ellie makes her way up the double escalators towards the Colorado Mountain Plaza, you would usually go right to continue through the chapter. If you instead go left, you will find the Atrium Recorder artifact on a mattress. Artifact 93, no pun intended, volume two, can be found in the chapter Fun and Games, Fun and Games. Whilst Ellie and Riley are on the carousel during a cutscene which can be skipped, Riley will hand Ellie the no pun intended, volume two artifact. Once Ellie and Riley are off the carousel, if you haven't already got the That's All I Got trophy for surviving all of Ellie's jokes, you will need to go through all 21 jokes, which will hopefully unlock that trophy for you. If you have already got that trophy, just quit the jokes, ensuring that you look at the entry in your artifact menu to make sure that you've got No Pun Intended Volume 2 counted as an entry for your Chronicles trophy. <laughs> enough i'm putting this away till next time Pause. artifact 94 kitchen notes can again be found in the chapter fun and games fun and games once you have the no pun intended volume 2 artifact go right jump in over the counter of the fast burger then go left to find the kitchen note artifact on the edge of the work surface Artifact 95, medical supplies, can be found in the chapter The Enemy of My Enemy, The Enemy of My Enemy. At the start of the chapter, Ellie will wake up in a helicopter. Once she's jumped out and landed on the snow, open your artifact menu and look at the medical supplies artifact to ensure that it is registered accurately. Artifact number 96, Crew Photo, can be found in the chapter The Enemy of My Enemy, The Enemy of My Enemy. After you have jumped out of the helicopter at the start of the chapter, follow the path around then go over to the right to find a doorway through a boarded up shop. Head inside, following the path around to the left to find a corpse in front of whom will be the Crew Photo artifact on the floor. And for your 97th and thankfully final artifact, which will be the Ducks Recorder, that can be found in the chapter, The Enemy of My Enemy, The Enemy of My Enemy. Proceed through the chapter to the ventilation shaft you go through where if you look on the floor, you will see a trail of blood. Follow the blood trail left down the ventilation shaft to find a corpse who has the Ducks Recorder artifact just down to the left of where Ellie will be. 
And once you have collected all 97 notes and artifacts, your Chronicles trophy will then unlock. So that's how to do the Chronicles trophy for The Last of Us Part 1. I do sincerely hope this guide's helped you out. It has taken us a couple of weeks to get this one together. Hopefully it's helped you unlock your Chronicles trophy. And obviously be one step closer to the Platinum. If it has helped you out, please do me a massive favour. Give the like button a click. We've put a ton of hours into this guide. A nice little click of the like button would be very much appreciated. And if it's really helped you out, then consider subscribing. And then press the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. Let me know down in the comments which of the 97 artifacts you had a little bit of trouble getting or if our guide was helpful, if there's anything that you do differently. We're always interested in feedback, be it positive or negative. Either way, let us know. But whichever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate it, especially if you made it all the way through to the end of this video. It is a long one, but obviously it's a necessary one if you're going for that elusive platinum. So please take care of yourselves out there. It is a bit of a weird world these days. Make sure that you look after each other and we do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides. Can you see our logo in the middle of the screen? Giving it a click enables you to subscribe, which helps us help you get more guides.